it's just too it, it, it has a soul to it it has an energy to it the the spirit of female rap embodied itself in Nicki Minaj when she was recording that album. <laughs> that is a statement. <laughs> back to my motherfucking channel i am so excited about today um i'm really making this video well okay let me just tell you what the video is going to be about um i'm going to be talking about what Nicki minaj's best album is <sighs> she has a few of them but like not well okay she has a few albums but she has a few albums that are just amazing and beyond me i'm really making this video i was gonna make this video in the future like months down the road actually i was gonna make it on pink friday's birthday which is in november or something like that and i couldn't well i'm making it because um my queen reaction got deleted off of youtube which is it's whatever it happens um i got copyrighted whatever um so i'm just gonna be going through each and every one of her albums and saying why this album is great and this album is great and just everything so let's get in before i start i want to make this clear Nicki minaj has a flawless this i don't know how to say this word but discography um i think that's how you say it but she it's flawless like each and every one of her albums are are works of art you know she really put her foot in every single one of these albums in a different way too. Um, so basically, like I said, I'm just gonna go be going through each and every album and ultimately picking her best. Nicki also has mixtapes and stuff. I, w if you guys want me to do mixtapes, um, this with the mixtapes, let me know because I will. But today I'm just gonna be doing albums. I'm not even doing um the re up, um, because I don't really consider an album. I consider it well, it is an EP. <laughs> So I guess I could add that to her mixtapes, but I didn't write, I have notes here. I didn't write anything down for that, so. But let's get into it. Before I start, please like and subscribe. There are not many YouTubers on YouTube, or YouTube, like pop enthusiast kind of YouTubers like me, like do reactions and stuff. There are not many that, oh my God. Okay, let me get back into it. I'm, looking at my TV right now because I was just watching Netflix and there's a new season of my favorite show coming out September 14th. Wig. <laughs> okay, wait, okay, I'm getting off track. But like I said, there's not many YouTubers that speak highly of Nicki or have um, their own opinions about Nicki because people do get paid to say blatant lies about her on YouTube. These are just facts. Um, so like and subscribe, you know, um, we should all be supporting each other, um, barbs that are YouTubers or whatever, but let's get into Pink Friday. Pink Friday is her first album, her debut album. That album is beyond legendary, beyond classic. It's, and the, the features that are on that album grow. Let's get into those. Kanye West, Eminem, and Rihanna on her first album for for a female rapper, that is huge. That is something that not many people can say. Eminem is one of the greatest rappers of all time. Rihanna is one of the most successful, even at that time, was one of the most successful black artists of all time. And Nicki got her on one of her albums. That's her first album. And then Kanye, especially in 2010, you know, Kanye was, he was a big deal back then i mean he still is but that was his you know his that was him that was his era and she got him on her 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 album that's crazy he doesn't really do many features neither does eminem neither does rihanna that which is just it's just crazy you know they've seen the potential the potential she had going along with these classic um features from these classical artists she also has many 
many classics on this album. It's 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 crazy. Let's get into them. She has classic hip hop records on this album. Did it on them, Moment for Life, and Roman's Revenge. All while still holding this soulful kind of sound to it, but still hardcore at the same time. And R&B unforgettable records like Save Me, um, Right Through Me, and Fly. Like I said, that, that feature is iconic. The, there's such a mix of genres you don't you never really see that in female rappers on their albums at least like before Pink Friday um there was you know there are female rappers sing or whatever but Nikki took it to another level because we also have to talk about the diamond classic that's on this album which is super bass and <laughs> That's an unforgettable, timeless hit that people just, they won't forget it. They know every single lyrics, no matter how old you are, you know what that song is. You know who sings that song. I mean, unless you're like a baby or whatever. But even my niece is a nephew. My niece is five years old and my nephew is four years old. They know that song, which is just, it's crazy. That song is almost 10 years old and it's still impacting this generation. It's crazy. And with Super Bass, she broke down doors, you know, um, for female rappers to be not just creative, but working outside of the box. Because you've never seen that. You've never seen a female rapper do a full-on pop record. You've never seen that. And I'm thinking about it now, I still haven't seen that. I mean, unless you were Fergie or something, but. Fergie really isn't considered a rapper, but at the same time she is. But it wasn't done to this level. Super Bass is just iconic. It peaked at number three on the Billboard Hot 100. It's diamond. This is a classic, period. So all in all with Pink Friday, I, I think it can hold its own with any female rap album, any rap album, period especially a debut album from any rapper. It was just that classic, you know? And that's, these are just facts. Her next album, Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded. This was a wake up call for female rappers in a good way. Let me make that clear, in a good way. Um, like I said, with Super Bass, Nicki really opened those doors for female rappers to be creative again and um, do more than just be a female rapper, you know, that just does guest verse and can't have solid albums, you know. So this album really showcased that Nicki's versatility, you know. Um, the first half of, the, half of this album was filled with just hardcore Nicki, the Nicki that we all love, you know. Bees in a Trap, Champion, um, Roman Reloaded, Roman Holiday, like Roman's Holiday. Like, they're, those songs are, they're experimental. I do want to say that. Like, um, Roman's Revenge, or not Roman's Revenge, Roman's Holiday and um, Roman, Roman Reloaded. They're very experimental. You don't hear many, you don't hear, and I don't hear any female rappers that sounded animated like that. You know, like, really all in your face kind of crazy flows. You don't hear female rappers like that. You've heard male rappers like that, but never a female rapper that was that animated to that extent and could pull it off that good. Also, the the um, features on this album weren't, they weren't as big as um, her first album, which was fine because she can make Nikki could make a solo album if she really wanted to. She could make a solo album, no features. She really could because a lot of these songs on this album didn't even have features. And some, most of the best songs on this album didn't have features. Like, um, but Champion had Jeezy and Nas on that, um, on that song. And <laughs> who, who can do that? Who can pull a goat out of their... Uh, you know, like Nas doesn't do many features. He's one of those artists that doesn't do many features. Who can pull that kind of stuff off and go toe to toe with him? The same thing with Eminem on Roman's Revenge. 
she goes toe to toe with these well-known classical artists. And then towards the end of that album, like I said, this album was very, very versatile. She gave us some spiritual kind of vibes in this album, which Marilyn Monroe, the beautiful Marilyn Monroe, that ballad was sickening. The Fire Burns, which is another just like, kind of like soulful kind of song, you know? And then one of her greatest songs to date which is Young Forever. You don't get female rappers like that. Even how? I mean, there are female rappers out here doing their thing. And that's all thanks to Nicki, too. That's a whole nother topic. But Nicki, this, Young Forever, that kind of song. Who does that? Who Who does that and can get away with it like that? There's not many artists that can do that, be that experimental and that versatile. But like I said, she's very spiritual and in touch with her spiritual side. And again, not many artists can do that. But um, keep going into the album and then you're gonna get these amazing pop records like Whip It and Gunshot, Pound the Alarm, and then the classic summertime hit. Starships. That's another one of those Nikki songs, you know, that just everybody knows. Everybody had something to say about it, too. It didn't stop it from going six times platinum. It didn't stop it for from being in the um, top 10 for 17 weeks, you know, like breaking doors down for female rappers kind of album. This album is why female rappers can do songs like Fancy, do songs like uh, the Girls Like You song with Cardi B and Maroon 5. Like, and these are just simple facts. And if you disagree with these facts, you're just delusional. And then the last song on that album is actually Stupid Ho, which is a perfect mix of pop and rap. And was, again, that Nicki, that she was spitting. No, I don't care what anybody has to say about that song. It's one of the most hated songs in rap history. It was very experimental. And it pulled... Oh, oh, <laughs> bless me. And she really pulled it off. So all in all, Pink Friday Roman Reloaded. People have a lot of negative things to say about that album. And they still do. But I don't care, it's very solid. It's a very solid album. The next album is The Pink Print. And let's just say Nicki came full circle with this this whole era of The Pink Print. Um, you know, she is, she, up in that point in her career, she has done it all, but she really wanted to get down and dirty with some amazing production and really get deeper into her spiritual side of a woman, you know? So this album, yes, it's amazing. There's not really many bad things I can say about this album. It was, it's one of her best. Um, but there are some fillers to this song. Don't get me wrong, though. I would not want this album anyway. But there definitely are some skips. We're going to get into the skips. So before I get into those, let's talk about the features. Because this is another album where she pulled out some of, the, some of her best features. Beyonce, Drake, Lil Wayne, um, and Meek Mill. Um, Meek Mill, he would have, this is the thing. She gave us two Meek Mill songs, almost three. She said that in an interview, there were almost three Meek Mill songs on here. And I don't know who told her that we wanted Meek Mill on an album, but it could have been, they, those two songs could have been kept, um, but By Heart though, that's, that, okay, no, I lied, okay, by, I like By Heart, but Big Daddy is definitely a skip, I like Nikki's verse though, like she, she was spitting, but Meek just ruined it, I don't like his vibe on it, he's a screamer, yeah, and not in a good way, <laughs> and then the, um, <clears throat> the other features, like I said, was Beyonce, and, 
gave the gays what they wanted, gave the gays what they were looking for for years. You know, we've been wanting a Nicki and Beyonce clap and they really went together so perfectly, you know? the Their vibes and their chemistry was really there and I love the energy that they brought to that song and the video. So that's definitely a classic on this album. And then the next feature would be Ariana Grande, which is Get On Your Knees. This song, for me personally, is a skip. I think it's their worst collab. Um, I don't know, it just really sounds like a demo to me. It doesn't really sound like a full song. Um, but don't get me wrong, they did their thing on it. Um, and when it first came out, I really, I, I did like that song. I liked all the songs in here. I did not skip any of these songs for a while until I really started to like listen to Nicki's work and see that, okay, there's some songs that could really be, could have really been kept. Okay, I wrote down all the songs here that um, me personally, I skip on this album. Um, I didn't write the skips down for the other albums because people really have a lot to say about those albums. They have a lot to say about Pink Friday. But I, I personally don't think Pink Friday has absolutely any skips. Roman Reloaded has a few skips, but I just didn't name them because this is one of the Barb's favorite albums. Like this is arguably, arguably one of her best albums um, within the talks of the Barb's. So I really just wanted to just say my feelings and the skips I do on this album, which is Big Daddy, Get On Your Knees, um, only, only is a classic hip hop record. Do not get me wrong, but it's just too long. Like Chris Brown's, I skip it after Nicki's part. Um, Lil Wayne though, 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 Lil Wayne though, he snapped on that song. Um, that is the only song with him and Nicki that he has washed Nicki. <laughs> and if you're a Barb and you're disagreeing with that right now, you're not a true Barb because you know, you know, Nikki gets down with Lil Wayne and they go, they go insane, but he, he definitely washed her on that, all, or on that song. Um, Trini Dem Girls is another skip. Um, and from time to time I skip, I lied, which is crazy because that was one of my favorite songs in this album when it first came out. I don't know, I really can't explain it. I just, it's just not what it used to be in my eyes no more, you know? But this album, like I said, it is, it's good. And I really wouldn't want it any other way because it's Nicki, it's Nicki. It's a mix of genres, it's a mix of sounds. And I, I really appreciate that, you know? But even with those skips, this album still remains one of her best. Um, we definitely stand the iconic, the legendary win again and all things go. The cinematic, beautiful visuals for the Pink Print movie is really what drew me more and more into that album and which is why I have to give it so much respect is because like I said, Nicki really came full circle with that era and gave us some mature work. She has given us mature work in the past, but this was a full album of that. And like I said, I really appreciate that. An artist, not many girls can do that. But all in all, this era might be her best era. <sighs> Maybe, it might be. Um, she, Pink Friday was an era. I mean, every single one of her eras was just unstoppable. Broke doors, broke records, you know? So, but this is definitely one of her best. Anaconda shifted the culture as a whole. So, like I said, you have to give it its respect, period. The last album in her, so far, um, in her catalog is Queen, the album that just dropped. Girl, I have way too much to say about this album. Um, when I do my reactions at first, Everything hits me at once. You know, it, listening to an album for the first time is exactly what it is. It's listening to an album for the first time. You're not gonna catch everything. So I didn't catch everything. So it took me a few days to grasp this album. 
Uh, oh, excuse me. But with this album, she took the bar and threw it. She and threw it, and it has it, it still hasn't came back through in a good way. I hope you guys aren't taking that in the wrong direction. In a good way, that is a good thing. And it already has classics, you know, Chun Li, a uh, top ten rap solo platinum hit that won a VMA, you know, even in her time of people, the hate train, it really only exists online. Um, but it already has classics. Fifi was added to this album, which I think is perfect because it ends the album perfectly. It fits the sound perfectly. They really snapped on that collab. Um, Majesty, another Eminem feature this far into her career and can still have it and she still has these relationships with people that she had almost 10 years ago um the ariana grande song um uh, the weekend was on here um there was just the features here truly snapped there's not one bad song in this album i and like i said there are few few um skips on pink friday roman reloaded there's probably like one or two skips on um, Pink Friday. <clears throat> Ew. <laughs> Pink Friday. Um, and then I told you guys my skips on the Pink Print. But this album specifically has no skips. Not one skip. Period. And then let's talk about the Coco Chanel song. A lot of people have a lot of bad things to say about that. Well, no, not a lot of people. It's mostly the barbs, and I don't, I don't get that at all. Well, yeah, I do because sometimes the barbs can be very delusional. But Coco Chanel, Foxy was, I don't know the the what is that called the um. It, it's not a language. It's a it's a slang kind of whatever they were or whatever Foxy was speaking on that song. And if you don't understand it, you don't understand it. But if you understand it, you know Foxy was a snapping. That's just Foxy. Foxy in her rawest form. Rawest form. Is that a word? I don't know. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't have one bad song. I love the flow of the album. It goes together so perfectly. And then she, you get that versatility from Nicki again with Run and Hide nip tuck um and come see about me like i said i appreciate that so much i love when an artist can do that kind of like work i appreciate that mix so much but with those cute soulful songs nikki got down with her pen with the rap songs you know we got that nikki that everybody has been wanting recently um, the Barbie Dream song. What? Girl, what? She snapped. That That's already a classic, you know? Like I said, Mena Menajesty. What? What? I am delusional today. M Majesty? <laughs> oh, my God. And then you got LLC. And you got Good Form. These are the songs that I, me, I, I know I have been wanting from Nicki. That's why I love this album so much. Because she really gave me what I was needing and exceeded my expectations times five. And then you got Hard White, you know? those. There's those songs. Those are just, like, you just are like, wow, okay, this is, this is the Nikki. This is Nikki. This is the one I wanted. This is what I needed. And it's just, it's, it's kind of, it's crazy because... People were doubting her, but she really pulled that shit back. Like, hold on now, hold on now. Y'all remember, 40 bars, kind of Nikki, playtime is over type bitch, itty bitty piggy type bitch. She came the fuck through. She put her raw soul and dedication into this album, and it really shows. Um, even starting off with the fucking album cover, so regal, so... It has an energy to it that's unexplainable, but at the same time, it's unmatched, you know? And like I said, like I said, it's unmatched from anything that she has ever done. And 
the album just it just screams classic and that's that on that so all in all this album it has its charm just like or every out not this album i mean i'm done talking about queen all in all this uh, every album in her catalog has its charm has its has its bops has its moments where you're just like whoa you know like each and every album has its wow pack. But before I say my favorite, or not even my favorite, um, just her best for me, well, I think it should be everybody's best. You go in the comments and let me know your best. And let me know your thoughts and everything that I just said, this whole video, let me know your thoughts. And let me know your favorite album from her and why. Um, but let's get into why, what album I think is. So I think it's pretty clear who the winner is, um, which is Queen for me. Um, it really just shows her growth and her depth as an artist um, and so many years into her career and she can deliver such an amazing body of work. Like I have said, not many female rappers can do that. And that's why I've been saying this is her best album. Cause she really, is showing the girls I am not going anywhere you know she and people or not people it's even Nikki too I wish Nikki would stop saying this that she's the female Jay-Z she is Nikki Minaj that's it like she's not the female anything she is Nikki Minaj she is the first of her kind she is the only bitch that can do that this is her fourth album and it debuted in the top two of Billboard Hot 100. Not any female rapper has done that. No female rapper has done that. And it's already gold in the United States. And every one of her albums has either been gold or higher. Every, al or every other album before this album, and it's only been a week, no, two weeks since it has dropped. Thank you, Transformers. <laughs> Lord. But it's been two weeks since this album has dropped and it's already gold in the United States. Every one of her albums are multi-platinum. Multi-platinum. And her sales haven't been updated for a while. So they're probably, you know, um, the Pink Friday is certified three times platinum. Um, Roman Reloaded, two times platinum, and The Pink Print, which is two times platinum, but I'm sure it's three times platinum by now. So that's my thoughts on this this conversation on what Nikki's best album is. But like I said, Nikki being so far into her career and can deliver a body of work like this hasn't been seen by a female rapper ever. It, it's beyond me. It's beyond me how she can still, after all these years, deliver amazing things like this, you know? Um, and then the next album behind this for me is Pink Friday. Pink Friday is just too, it, it has a soul to it. It has an energy to it. The, the spirit of female rap embodied itself in Nicki Minaj when she was recording that album. <laughs> that is a statement if I have ever made one. <laughs> that is a statement. The next album is Pink Friday, or not Pink Friday, The Pink Print. Um, this is the thing. If The Pink Print didn't have those skips that I said, it would definitely be top two because Win Again, The Crying Games, all Things Go, Shanghai, Want Some More, those songs could easily wipe out almost every song on Pink Friday. Well, no. It's like this for me. Like, the Queen is up here, Pink Friday and, you know, the Pink Print are like right here. If the Pink Print didn't have those skips, it would be above Pink Friday for me. But that's that. And then Roman Reloaded is the last album just because it's so versatile and it's so in your face and it take you have to have an acquired taste to like that album and i like that album i like every single one of nikki's albums but i guess that's it make sure you like subscribe let me know how you feel about what i just said 
This was a video of I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love Nikki so much, but I guess that's it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and like I said, even if you don't like me, I, I really don't care. But we need to start supporting other barbs that are on YouTube and stuff, and that are trying, because like I said, not many people say nice things about Nikki, and they don't say positive things. They always are trying to belittle her or say negative things about her. And now that the barbs, when we first got into Nikki, which was almost 10 years ago, we were all, I was 11 years old. 11? Hold on. Okay, well, in 2010, I was 12. So in 2009, I was 11. Yeah, so um, we were all very young. I was 11 years old when I first heard Nicki Minaj. And now look at me, I'm 20 years old. And that love that I had for her is, it's not going anywhere and it's probably never gonna go anywhere. And now look at us, we're grown. We're grown and we can say these opinions as, not even opinions, these are facts. You have never seen a, a female rapper outdo Nicki Minaj, never. And you never will, never. I don't care how many number ones they have. It's just, it's not, you have to look at the groundbreaking facts here, period. And now that we're adults and stuff, we can say these things and not be looked at as children that don't know anything really about music. And that's how I feel like people look at the barbs. But if there's YouTubers like me and other, there's other barbs out here that are doing videos and stuff, we, we could have, you know, a respectful community you know we could really change the minds of people but hey i don't know make sure you like subscribe and bye